Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a Monday afternoon episode of Ted's Boo Cellar with me, your most gracious host, Ted. Now I know I don't always do episodes of Ted's Boo Cellar on Mondays, because I don't usually drink on Mondays. Um, occasionally I do if it's a special occasion and today is just such a special occasion because it is the birthday today of one of the venues managers at my company where I work at, the University of Sussex Students' Union, namely my good buddy and very diligent boss, Jamie. Now, Jamie has been sorting out a lot of stuff behind the scenes to do with all sorts of stuff uh, to help keep everyone in the loop about what's going on at the USSU bar staff and everything while this whole COVID-19 thing has been going on. He's been working very hard. He's... You know, I can imagine how he's probably feeling right now, probably a bit overworked and stuff, and he will probably be more than deserving of a little, you know, sort of, you know, chill out time, I think, probably afterwards. I mean, like, I think probably there's quite a lot of people who are, but, like, I want to give particular credence to Jamie because he's just been working his socks off recently, and he's been working awfully hard, and I can't imagine the amount of stress that he's in right now, but I want to give my hat off to Jamie and also say to him, happy birthday. Now, uh, I did see a video of our good old buddy Jamie on his birthday some time ago, uh, I think a few years ago, probably before I joined the USSU, uh, downing a bottle of WKD Blue. Now, WKD Blue is the uh, particular topic of today's te episode of Ted's Boo Cellar, and I did try to find a normal sized bottle of it, but um, instead I can only find this great big beast of a bottle. Um, I don't really drink Alco Pops, so... I. <laughs> I don't really know what this is going to be like. I did. If you guys do remember, though, a while back, I did a review of a WKD uh, spirit bucket on an episode of Ted's Booze Cellar one time many moons ago. It was one of the earliest episodes of Ted's Booze Cellar, uh, and I remember being particularly drunk when I recorded that. Thankfully, I'm as sober as a nun, and I'm ready to record this one and give it as an objective review as possible. Now, I got this from my local off-license, and it was too... 99 for this bottle here of 700 milliliters. Oh my god, it's nearly a liter. Uh, 4% alcohol volume, so it's about the same strength as like a normal British beer. Uh, sparkling fortified alcoholic premix blending with fruit flavors contains caffeine, gluten free, serve chilled. So, yeah, interested to see what this is like. And, um, you know, granted, like, Alcapots aren't the only thing I've ever seen Jamie sort of drink, but, like, I I have seen him drink them on a couple of occasions, and he's able to down an entire normal-sized bottle of this. I don't know if... I'm, I mean, knowing him and the absolute man that he is, uh, he probably would be able to down this quite easily, considering it's, well, it's nearly three-quarters of a litre, but I'll, uh, I'll leave that to him to uh, showcase if he wants to take up that challenge, but... Um, I, uh, to be honest with you, I'm not sure anyone would want to, so <laughs> I'll leave that up to him. But yeah, so the design of the bottle actually is quite nice. Very clean, very simple. Um, not the most distinctive or interesting bottle I've ever seen, but I'll give it a 8.5 out of 10. It's a nice looking bottle. It's simple, clean, straight to the point. I like it. Um, let's give it a sniff though to give ourselves a hopefully good first impression. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It literally just tastes like liquidized love hearts. Oh god, it literally just tastes like liquidized love hearts and gone off KA Cola. Two things I bloody hate. Yeah, I am. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna have to give the smell like a 2 out of 10. I just don't like it. It's not the worst smell I've ever smelled from a drink, but. Ugh, doesn't smell good. Really not giving me a good sense of hope here, so... Oh well. We'll just have to wait and see if it's actually any good, and uh, hopefully it's better than the smell sort of gives us an indication, but um, then again, I'm not an Alcopop drinker, and uh, first impressions are important, so we'll have to wait and see if that does hold up. But to Jamie, and everyone else who's continued working at the USSU in this time of very trying uh, stipulations and circumstances, my hat's off to everyone, and you all deserve a good hearty slap on the back, a bunch of pints and a good break after this is all over. So, yeah, my hat's off to everyone who's still working at this time. Salute. 
and to Jamie in particular, you are working very hard. I hope you get all that you want for your birthday, and I hope to see you again soon. But in the meantime, bottoms up. Hmm. Also, I should just note this is the alcoholic mixed blue original version of WKD. Hmm. Definitely not as bad as the smell made it out to be, that's for sure. It's definitely not good. Um, you can't really taste any sense of alcohol in these things. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not that, it's not very good, but it's like, is it anywhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be? Not really, no. Um, yeah, I was quite pleasantly surprised by that, but not really um, impressed at all, so I can't really say much else other than that. Um, I'm not really sure what the flavour is meant to be. I get a sense of like really artificial berry flavouring that kind of just feels a bit cloying in. But like at the same time, it's not overly sweet. Um, the fizz isn't too bad. And it goes down very easily. So, to be fair, if you're already on quite a few drinks, and you just wanted to have some more drinks to keep your drinking session going, then this is pretty good to go with. It's not really suitable for anything other than being a pre-drinks drink or a sesh drink. And even then, I would preferably rather have some other drinks beforehand to kind of like mask the sheer just complete uh, just unoriginality of this thing like it's just not that remarkable but then again it's definitely not as bad as i initially thought it was going to be so i have to give it credence for that although that's not really saying much but um i don't know definitely could have been worse uh i'd have to say i give it a four point two five out of ten i think it's below average, but it's definitely nowhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like a 2, but a 4.25 I think I'll have to give it. Still though, obviously that's not really a glowing recommendation, so I can't recommend it for everyone. Um, however, I guess if you're already drunk enough and you want to keep your drinking session going, it's probably suitable for that, so take that as you will. It's probably not the most glowing recommendation, rather granted, I grant you, but um, I think that's all I can really say about it. But... Um, to everyone watching, especially Jamie, I hope you all have enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, share and subscribe. If you have any suggestions for episodes of Ted's Boo Cellar in the future, leave them in the comment section below and I'll see what I can do. If you're interested in my other online activities as well, leave, um, sorry, I'll leave the links to those in the video description below, so be sure to check that out. But, as always, until next time, Drink responsibly, no limits, stay safe, have fun with whatever you're doing, wash your hands, and I'll see you guys next time at the bar on Ted's Booster. Bye-bye for now.